Hello, good to see you. So I'm gonna give you guys some ideas to use your stairs as a workout. So you can use your stairs outside or inside, and you only need two stairs. And this is gonna do a little stretching, a little strength training, and some good plank work. So, first of all, just step your right foot on the second step and just lunge into it to do a lunge, just to kind of stretch the body, reach the arms up, and just do a little circling of the arms just to get that blood flow. I'm gonna add some two pound, um, three pound weights actually, and you can do the same. And then you're just gonna stretch it out and then flex that foot, bend the standing legs, stick your tail out, and get that nice hamstring and calf stretch. You could also just move your foot all the way down and then reach for that second step. Both are gonna be really good to get the back leg stretched. You're kind of pressing in, make sure your foot is flat against that stair. And then bring yourself up and do the second side. Left leg, lunge in, reach it up, circle those arms back, really feeling that. If you, have, you could also be near a wall or the railing also to help with your balance. Good, and then you're going to gently sit back, flex that foot, get that stretch. You could bend that knee, make sure the knee is going towards the middle toe. Again, if that doesn't feel good to you, you could also move it to a lower level and really flex that foot so you get that calf to stretch. Bend the knees, stick your tail back, and place your hands on that second, or maybe you need the third step. And just breathe here, feeling that stretch. Super, take another breath there, and then you're gonna bring yourself up. And then I want you to come all the way back. You're actually gonna reach for your second step. Feet are parallel, and just bend side to side, just to get those inner thighs warmed up, your hips a little bit more, and again, it's really nice. And some of you might even be able to go to that first. Maybe for you, you want the floor. It's just lots of options. This next part, though, I do want you to have your back flat. You're going to bend both knees and just do a little pulse. You're going to squeeze your core, get a little lower, and then can you lift up and breathe, pulse down. Four more, three, two, one, hands back, stretch, and just let it go. Let your head go. Breathing there, bend those knees and roll it on, on up. Now grab, since I'm doing it outside, these are a little stiff, so I want a little cushion. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands down and you're gonna walk yourself out to a plank. Shoulders are down, shoulders right above the wrist, and just feel that. Squeeze that belly and breathe. Good, and then from there, you're gonna push back to a modified downward dog. I like to get my hands at the edge of the stairs, and then we're going to do a little overhead press. You're going to bend and straighten elbows out to the side, shoulders away from your ears, lift the belly, and breathe. Whew. Good. Super. Feel that stretch. Feel that work. Okay, and now, folks, you're going to bring yourself back in, place your hands flat, come back into your plank, shoulders down, lift your right leg, and do a little pulse out and in, and nothing else is moving. And you're breathing. Flex that foot. Breathe. Do eight of them. Good. And then you're going to hold it out. Breathe. And then cross the body, kick it on the diagonal. Cross. So you're bringing your right knee to your left elbow. Flex that foot. Keep squeezing, keep breathing, super, and then place it down, shift back, again, overhead press, Woo! breathe, shoulders away from those ears, abs are lifted, try to press back into your heels, get the hamstring stretch, Woo! super, and then we have a second side, you're going to come back, palms flat, shoulders down, and then open and close the left leg. Shoulders down. Every muscle is working here. Squeeze that belly. Inhale. Exhale. Feel that lift out to the side. Good. You're going to do eight of them. And then you're going to keep the leg out to the side and cross. Shoot it out. Cross. And I want you to really squeeze it in. Feel that squeeze. Good. Four more. Try to go for eight this way too. Keep breathing. Super, good, place it down, and then just shift back, feel the stretch, let your head go. Whew. Breathing there, super. Then, give it a little shake out. You're gonna turn yourself around, 
and then you're going to sit on your little step. Okay. Place your palms, your fingertips to face the side. I just feel a little stretch here. And then I want you to turn your palms to face in at the very edge of the step. You're going to lift off, walk your feet away a little bit. And maybe this is plenty, just holding this. You can hold or you can bend the elbows and then lift the pelvis up. You could also just hold here. Down, it's a little tricep press, little dips. Again, it doesn't have to be a big dip. It can be really small. Elbows going straight back. You can just stay here, press into all five toes, press into those heels, keep breathing. Super. Woo, and you can even lift the hips, go a little deeper. Do five more maybe. But make sure it's not about the hips, it's more about the arms. More about those arms. Woo, and then take a little rest, and then just let yourself hang. Let it go. Bring yourself on up. Come up to stand. To get a little bit more heart rate going, grab two weights. Okay? Circle those shoulders, and you're going to step up on that first step and bend, push. You're alternating sides. Alternating. You're breathing. Squeezing in that core and smiling. Press. You can change those arms up. And you can reach those arms out and out. Shoulders down, bicep curl, press out. Yeah, Woo. push it out. Keep breathing, push, super. Keep going, press, good, super. Great, one more. Last one, good work. Super, now put those weights down. Second step, we're going to do a little oblique action. So you're going to go into your forearm. You're going to straighten out those legs. Right leg on top. Grab a weight. You don't have to use a weight. You're going to be here. Look at that. Now that might be plenty. You could just do little lifts up, crunching those obliques, or curl and extend. Try to go for eight. Again, you can modify. You could not use a weight. Listen to your body. Feel those obliques. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Feel that lift up of the pelvis. That left shoulder's far away from those ears. Good. Super. Place that weight. Bring it forward. Come back to that downward dog. Stretch. Overhead press. Five of them. Four. Three. Two. One. Second side, here we go. Forearm down, elbow right below the shoulder. Take a little twist, reach. Again, it could be a lift up, just like this, with those hips, or curl and reach. And curl and reach. Trying to go for eight. Keep breathing. Feel that reach, feel those work. Work those abs. Inhale, exhale, super, keep breathing, good, last one folks, Woo. place that down gently, be mindful of your body, and find a hold of plank, breathe, bring one leg in, ha, in, just squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, take it side, elbow to knee. And squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, one more. Woo, and press it back, stretch. Super. When you are doing those side planks, you can always just place the foot in front too to make the weight lighter. Okay, so there's lots of options. All right, next little part, you're gonna grab those weights again. Okay, and now you're gonna circle those shoulders. You're going to lift that left leg back. Now your weights, maybe you wanna just hold here onto the stairs. You can even let go of the weights. And you're just gonna pulse that leg up. So it's a nice little platform. If you wanna to add to it, try pulling up. Whew. And up, squeeze the elbows in, breathe. But the 
stairs right here in case you lose your balance. And then lengthen out and pulse it up. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Now hold and just bend and straight. Tricep press. Whew. Woo! Super. And then try. Come on up. Second side again. Weights are here. Hold it back. If you just have your hands here, just work on that pulsing, turning on those glutes. Or work on your balance more. You can also have one arm down and only one arm doing the weight. So many options. And you can pulse it. Woo! And breathe. Lifting in that belly. And then lengthen, pulse it up. Squeeze that pinky finger. Really feel it. Flex that foot. Good. Now hold the leg steady and just press back five times. Woo! Feel it. Work it. The wind makes it more challenging. Oh! And then let it go. And then just hang yourself over. Let it out. Bring yourself on up. Woo! Come back to those planks. I know. Now here, you're going to do a little tricep plank. Your elbows go in and out. Again, look how little I'm bending. You can bend a little bit. I don't want you to feel like you got to go all the way. Shoulders are down. Whew. You're breathing. Good. Hold. Now let your elbows go wide. Ha! Maybe you can bend more this way. Keep breathing. And then you're going to press forward. Lift your heart. Ah, press back. Stretch those legs. Shake it out. Really feel the stretch underneath the arms. Maybe you can go even to your first step. Maybe all the way to the floor. Let your head go. Keep breathing. Walk back up to those stairs. Shift your weight. Walk your feet back in and come on up. A little stretch here. Maybe go to that third step or that second step. Interlace those hands, just stretch those arms. That was a lot of work for those arms. Breathe, lunge. Super, take those arms, take a little twist. Ha! Circle it back, switch sides. Other side, lunge, circle those arms, interlace, lift the heart, breathe. Mm. Bring it on up, take a twist. Ha! Bring it up, circle it back. Bring it all the way down. One more little calf. Really go into the stair, toe straight up, push all 10 toes towards the stair. Bend that back knee, stick your tail out. Go deeper now, now that you're warmer. Woo! Maybe even go down to your first step, maybe to the floor. Good, bring it on up, shake it out, switch sides. Really get that toe all the way up. Notice my feet are both facing straight ahead. Bend that knee, reach for that top step, bottom step, the floor. Whatever works for you and feel that leg. Mm. Beautiful. And then bring it back up. A little figure four stretch. Last stretch, folks. Cross one ink. Go over the other knee. Bend and stick that tail back. You could do it this version or guess what? You can sit down. Look at that. And cross it over and hang. Really get into those outer hips. So you can kind of choose which one feels better to you. Switch sides. So again, maybe you like the seated version. Feeling that outer hip. Or maybe you like this version. Standing up and sticking the tail. Maybe you can even go lower to the floor. Or maybe even balance. Look at that. Yeah? What does your body need? Whatever version you took, uncross it. Give it a little shake out. Step wide. I'll face you for this part and just take a nice big side bend. Big side bend, because they're so important. One more. And then just give it up to the universe, circle it around, and have a beautiful day. Thank you.